All start, right. Start killing, timer. killing some scary motherfuckers. Oh wow, they died pretty quick though. They're a lot scarier. Oh, Guess they weren't looking. so scary after all. Yeah. You know who's the scariest of them all? <laughs> Joe Droopy. The really big gravestone. That's a big gravestone. Um. Oh, that that was. Those are some big cacti. I think there's peyote in them. Remember the episode of Avatar where Sokka drank peyote? Oh, he eats the yeah the cacti. <laughs> Trips nuts. Oh, uh, very that. good. That's a thing. Yeah. Wow. That is a thing. When they're like venturing across the desert and they're like starving, Sokka just like. Finds some random cactus and drinks the water from it and gets high as hell. Yeah. And starts acting super weird for the rest him of the Momo. episode. <laughs> yeah, him the, and, Do they him never go do further into detail than that? No, but, like, it's it's obvious, like, what happens. Yeah. That's funny. You know what I'm saying? Like, my boy just drank some peyote. And, like, the rest of, like, like the, sh like the cast was just like, oh, whatever. Like, I guess he's just fucked he's up He's just now. high, yeah. Like, yeah. we just gotta let it pass. Like, I never really watched that show. Hopefully. Much. It's so good. Very good show. Uh, I haven't seen all of it, but really? I've no, I haven't. I've seen like a pretty good amount of it. The however. the ending gets a little Deus Ex. Like I've they... seen the end. Like okay. I, I've seen the beginning, pr like pretty much all of the first part, and I've seen most of the ending. There's just like a lot of the middle that I missed out on. Like I saw an episode here and there, but not like all the way through. You know what I'm okay. saying? There's some cool shit. Did you ever see the the episode where uh, Katara meets the Bloodbender? Yes. Yeah, that one's cool. Um, when they go to the Fire Nation and they see the play, that's a cool episode. That one I don't think I've seen. Really? That one's pr that one's pretty funny. They do like a cast and it's of like the Avatar team, and they're all just like caricatures of themselves. And then when they get to to Zuko or whatever his name is, he's just like, I'm gonna do this for honor and they're like he's like i don't sound like that and they're all like yeah you do no like you talk about honor all the fucking time it's really annoying um they do i feel like that trope shows up a lot in tv of like people seeing the events that they've lived through portrayed in like a theatrical way yeah really yeah, no, they do it in Game totally of Thrones, does. remember when Arya watches the yeah, uh the true. play that's like all the events in Westeros that she's already lived through. Yeah. And like uh and her dad getting his head chopped off. Spoilers. Um, one of the uh Another spoiler tag. I mean Sorry. that's that's uh, that's an early spoiler, so it's fine. I'm that's not actually a genuine current like this happened recently. But you know what it is also one of the most fucked up moments what? of the show is when Joffrey uh, make Sansa look at Ned's head. Oh, yeah, I agree. Dude, poor Sansa. She yeah. just, the entire show is just like her getting shit on. No! No! Oh! oh slow man. poisoning. Fuck slow uh, poisoning. And you're getting shit on. I just fucking died like Ned Stark. You just got eight. You wish you died like Ned Stark. Yeah, that actually was a little more gruesome than just getting your head cut off. Yeah, you got fucking eaten by a snake man. Do you think snake men get haircuts, or do they just, like, keep growing their snakes out? I assume that they would have to not get haircuts, or their snakes would die. They just kill their snakes, and do they regrow? <laughs> More snakes. I mean, yeah, but then, like, wouldn't you feel bad if you were just constantly murdering snakes all the time? I would. Like, I would, too, but, cut. like... Jesus Christ. At the same time, it's like, damn, I got a lot of snakes on me. I'm sick and tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. Uh, what about snacks on the plane, though? I like. I'm always a fan of snacks, dog. I wish snacks that we had some plane. snacks right now. Same. You guys ever seen snakes on a train? No. Nah. It's an asylum movie, so it's Sounds just like terrible. a bad. Yeah, it's like a bad parody. It's meant to confuse like old people. Like asylum movies or movies at a blockbuster, you'd see and go, "Oh, that must be the sequel to Snakes on a Train." Cool. And then you'd rent it, and then you'd watch it, and be like, "This is what fucking is horrendous." What is this? Um. It's so like, remember the Amanda show? They had the block blister sketch. Yeah, it was like that. 
It's like, oh, you wanted X Men? No, we have F Men. Yeah, that was what Asylum. That was the entire premise of every Asylum movie ever made. Uh, I want to go down there, but I can't. Did you just jump? No, that's a bad idea. It's not. It's not how winners make decisions. Winners make decisions by killing these, these by killing snake men. Yeah, the snake people. You bitch ain't gonna slow poison me today. Um, no sir. A friend of mine showed me a band called uh, Snake Man. Like here come the mummies. I think is what they're called. I think that's what they're called. Um, basic premise is they're like a funk band. And all their songs are just about, like, fucking. Like, that's all it is. It's just about, like, being groovy, and it's about, like, having sex, because that's cool. And yeah, they just dress up as, like, mummies. I, and they'll just... It sounds great. Yeah, it's it's kind I'm of all like... about that. I if the band wrong. The Electric Six combined with uh, Ghost, or whatever that band is you guys like, they just dress up like scary-ass mummies and then just sing, like, these funky-ass jams. Love Ghost. That sounds like a good time. Yes. Yeah. Honestly. It's... Yeah, they're pretty dope. Uh, it's I'm gonna look up their name again so I don't like fuck it up. It's not Ghost. It's not Ghost. It sounds like Ghost. Bye, yeah, it's Here Come people. the Mummies. Here Come the Mummies. I'll tell you is when there an first. exclamation point at the end? I feel like there is. Nah. Damn. There should be. That would make it a lot better. What are the boys down in marketing doing? And I will tell you when their first album came out. Yeah, they just dress up like straight up like toilet paper. Ah! That one dude's playing a saxophone. Mm. I love saxophone players. They have such a, songs. such a good underrated instrument. One of them is called Pants. Just a song called Pants. Attack of the Wiener Man. <laughs> I Funky. bet Attack of the Wiener Man is a fucking banger. Oh, dude, it's a jam. It's an absolute jam. Um, what is it? Uh, Thank you. booty. That's a song. Think uh, think shui. Not feng, feng shui. shui. It's like think with like a K. Okay. Feng shui, or feng shui is. We're what definitely I feel gonna like have gonna to gonna listen say. to this shit after this episode. Yeah. Um, you you piqued my curiosity. They're an, they're an interesting band. Yeah. They sound like it. Why do the Forbidden Woods have to be so fucking confusing in every game that has a Forbidden Woods? I don't understand the appeal of this. I'm surprised. I'm not having fun, guys. I feel like you'd be the outdoorsman kind of guy. You just, like, know your way. No. Like, in in real woods, maybe, if I, like, have been in, But, like, that's a myth. You know what I'm saying? Unless you have a way to direct yourself. Whether it's yeah. by looking at nature or by looking at a compass or whatever. You can't find your way out of fucking woods you've never been in. That's big mythology. You just, like, know. You just pick a direction and wander, man. Dude, and that's how I get to, like, Yeah, that's anywhere. how you get fucking lost in the woods for a week and then <laughs> starve to death. That's, that's, like, literally how I get to anywhere without using a GPS. I'm just like, I hope it's this way. It's like how any prominent forester has died. It's like... <laughs> crazy that people got places reliably without gps yeah i don't understand how i would be i would never get anywhere on time because i'd just be so fucking lost constantly yeah. I feel like how the fuck do i get here how did i get here i definitely am going the wrong way did i like really get turned around and i'm going backwards i'm pretty sure i did alex is, is yo oh, so God. on my birthday i went over his house and we were just chilling and uh just chilling, he couple kept, of bros. Just you know, no just big chilling, just chilling. And he kept falling asleep and what like a surprise. waking up. And oh, then he would just wake up and look at me, and I'd be like, "Hey, man!" And he'd be like, "Oh, I was, I was awake." And I'm like, "Sure, you were." I'm no. like, "It's okay to go to sleep." Like, so this is an interrogation. No one asked. Yeah, I was like, "It's okay to sleep, man. Like, I'm probably gonna crash here and just like dip in the morning." It's okay to be a weak mortal. Yeah. And you just keep waiting. Like, I would make a noise, and he would just wake up. And I'd be like, hey. Yeah. What's up, man? Sounds like, like, sounds like our boy. I like these things because they die in a couple hits. They're just easy yeah. to farm for echoes. We got a nice little thing over here. Nice snake boy. Snakey boy. You don't really use your hammer, I've noticed. 
Um, I feel like I only tend to use the hammer for, like, if there's one slow-moving-ish kind of foe. Because you swing it so goddamn slow. You should check out Ludwig's. It's a little faster. And yeah, it's like but just I don't heavy. really have the decks for Ludwig's at the at the moment. It's, this but is it's such like a, a strength-heavy build. I think I just have the minimum requirement. I, I think they're and like think the same scaling, though, right? Maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, my God. That what? is actually really scary. What in the fucking Oh, my Christ God. Is that is that? huge scary. Oh, what is no. That? No, it's no, like a, no. It's like a Cerberus plant. Dude, I feel like if I had that as my best friend, I would have been so cool when I was younger. Um, it's uh, like... I don't think that you would have had any friends. You know the the thing in the first Harry Potter movie that they get stuck in and it's just like the massive vines? Yeah. That's what that reminds me of. A little bit, but like way scarier. Way scarier. Like that was just like, oh no, vines. That's like, this might kill me. Ain't I mean, easy. the vines were supposed to kill you too. They'd strangle you to death if you struggled in them. That's pretty scary. That is scary. Just a magic plant fucking choking you out. Go to sleep. Yeah, Go to sleep. Take a nap. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I've, I don't want this. I've seen the evil dead. I know where this ends. Oh God, no. That's just like one way I'm not going out. I'm like, nope. No tree rape for me. I like when people ask me like uh, random hypothetical questions. They're like, what would you do if you're like sitting at home and a bear came out? And I'm like, no. <laughs> and they're like, what do you mean? I'm like, one, there's no way I'm put. I'm in this situation. No way in hell I'm putting myself in a situation like that. And, like, two. If I am, I'm just dying. Yeah. Like, it's it's over. Yeah. And even, like, I feel like you oh, just see man. that coming from a mile away. You should jump in there and fight them. There's an item. Um, I'm gonna not. I'm gonna not. 